All right, guys, welcome to RM20. That's not five, not 10, not 15, but 20. This is our 20th giveaway vehicle at RestoMods.com. It's crazy. Second truck we've ever done. Uh, we chose to do a C10 because one, we love Chevys. It's a that's Chevy, right. man. That's right, that's it. Uh, and it's a C10, which is an insanely popular model. This is a 1970. They made this, I wanna say this is generation two? Uh, yeah, as far as C10s, yeah. Yeah, generation two, they made it from 67 to 72. And these were just work trucks back in the day, right? Yeah, yeah, you saw a lot of these. I mean, anyone who grew up has fond memories of these, probably putting in work on a farm or uh, doing a dump run or something, but they are far above that now. Um, and this is a good example of kind of where these trucks are in the aftermarket today. Um, you just see them everywhere. They're super popular at car shows. We love them. I'm all in on this thing. I'm a Chevy truck guy. And this thing ticks all the boxes as far as the rest of mods go. So it was a no brainer to bring this opportunity for you guys to win a really vision C10. Yeah, especially for the 20th anniversary, something we've never run before. Um, for our 20th sweepstakes, we wanted to do this iconic truck. Um, and this is a short bed. I had a long bed back in the day, but those are seriously less desirable than these short yep. beds. Why is that, you think? I mean, it's just the sportiness of this. I mean, it's to the point where you see a lot of long beds getting converted into short beds. Uh, when they were new, people were buying these with the intent of using them as a truck. So the long bed just gets you more space to do that. It's right. uh, more usable. But at this point, um, I mean, this is a coveted classic resto mod. So uh, you don't need to worry about getting all your construction supplies in the bed. Yeah, exactly. You're not loading uh, hay bales in the back of this. Exactly. Well, maybe you are. You could. But uh, we're not. The body lines on, on these C10s are super iconic, but the ones on this particular truck have been modified a little bit. And you can see some of that even just in the silhouette. Uh, the drip rails getting shaved here, but still leaving like a little bit of a, yeah. of a hint of it. Um, what other body modifications are A lot, a lot are we of custom at? body mods. We'll, we'll kind of just start at the front. Um, this has a paint match bumper and grill surround. So this um, was normally chrome, right? Yeah, this was normally like an anodized aluminum. Basically what you see in the center here, now it's paint matched to the truck. It kind of brings it into the modern age. Really nice touch. Um, and then the charcoal. Uh, this truck is two-tone. It's very subtle, but everything ties in really well together. Um, and then upgraded uh, parking and marker lights, LEDs. These, these do a real sequential, real cool sequential feature when they're on. Um, LED headlights. Um, and then the cowl hood. This is a, a little hint at like the aggressiveness that's going on under the hood under of this there. thing. Um, so should we talk more about body mods or should we just get into the meat and potatoes? I think everybody engine? wants to see what's under the hood. Let's, Let's pop the hood and Let's check it out. It. Okay, Woo! this is uh, by far my favorite part about this truck. Um, these trucks have a huge engine bay. So really the sky's the limit as far as what you can do in here. Um, but this is not your regular small block that this truck came with. This has been upgraded to an LS 6.2 liter LS engine. Um, it has a nice uh, black clean mid-mounted accessory drive to clean up the front. Um, it has some nice coil covers that are color matched as well. Uh, but the real highlight on this LS engine is this uh, retro cast dual quad port injection setup from Phytech. Brand new product from them. Check them out if, if, this is, if you like how this looks. Um, you know, that's the big thing with uh, putting an LS engine in a classic is making it all kind of cohesive. Um, a stock intake manifold isn't always the best thing to look at. This thing brings that classic vibe into it um, and it performs really well too. This thing is over 450 horsepower. Um, Doug Thorley headers, MSD wires, uh, just the works. I mean, this thing has all the cool stuff. Big um, Ron Davis cooling radiator with dual electric fans. Uh, you see the power brakes here with the upgraded master cylinder. That's all going to uh, Willwood brakes. We'll show you a little bit more of those when we get down to the suspension, wheels, tires. Um, but yeah, this is, this is my favorite part. It just looks so good in this truck. Uh, and uh, it's, it's a neat way to put down some serious power and have a good classic looking LS. Yeah, I mean, it looks super classic with that Phytech setup on the top. I mean, you, you know, with that air cleaner, it's got that retro look and those lines and all that. And then this awesome chrome uh, brake cylinder. Um, I just like the way they did everything in here. The way all the lines are plumbed, it's super clean. Um, shout out to our guys over at Phytech. They were very, uh, very yeah. humble in their labeling. Yeah, they're the ones that uh, made the magic happen here under the hood. So check them out if you like how this looks. Um, but we're just super happy to, uh, to have this level of LS engine. Um, it's a good step up for a truck. 
All right, so in terms of putting that power down, what do we made it to at the back end of this engine? Okay, so behind this is a tried and true 4L65E built by our friends over at Silver Sport. Um, so it has all upgraded internals to handle this power, and it also has an upgraded 3200 stall converter. Sweet, and what are we looking at for the rear end? Um, this one has a 12 volt rear end to put that power down. It's a 373 gear ratio with a posi. So this thing can handle all this power, super reliable, and it just works great in this truck. Still gets on the freeway though, yeah? Oh yeah, yeah, that overdrive really helps. So cruising on the freeway, no problem. So a little hint, moving backwards, you can see the RideTech Ride Pro controller there, um, and that'll bring us right into the suspension on this thing as we're moving back on it. This thing is riding on a four-way adjustable air ride suspension system. So all the suspension has been gone through, all upgraded bushings, um, but this thing is all ride height adjustable. So if you like the slammed look, you can dump this thing on the ground, have that cool slam look while you're parked. Um, but usability wise, uh, this is ride height and you can go a little taller than this if you want that classic look. Um, but uh, we really like this uh, adjustability of the air ride. It's just another cool feature on this truck. You can hear it right as soon as it gets power. Oh, yeah. look at you hitting your switch. Yeah, so this thing will find its own level. It's all... Uh, so it's, it auto levels out? Yeah, it's got That's all really level cool. sensors and everything. So that's all the way up? That's pretty much all the way up right there. So, I mean, that's a huge difference. That's like three, four inches just from right that's there. It's a lot of ground clearance. And it literally looks more like what you would expect, like, this, like a stock pickup truck. You have tons of room, right. you can drive this thing around right. uh, like you would a normal truck. All right, let's see it slam though. Dude. We gotta measure that because that's like six inches of travel. It's a big difference. It's a huge difference. All adjustable. You that's go what from you want. like a couple inches above the tire, now you're slammed over the tire. It's an entirely different truck. Like the look is it. so that's different. That's it. That's rad. That's really cool. You pull up to a show, hit the speed bumps, everything, pull into your spot, and then slam it down. That that's is a, really cool. It's a flex. That is really cool. Yeah, it's like a toy. That's it. You're back at right height. <laughs> that's awesome. Now, can you pre-program those or are you just hitting yeah, it? Yeah, so it has a nice, uh, a nice uh, three-step programmer where you can program three different settings. So you can have your ride height, uh, you can have all the way slammed, which is what we have for the first setting. Ride height is the second setting. And then third one is just all the way up. Um, all the way slammed, you don't really want to drive this thing like that. It's not meant for that. But it's cool just sitting there. Yeah, exactly. So when you park, you can just set this thing on the ground and have a really cool looking truck. But then you can get your clearance back and drive it like a real truck. That is really cool. That is really cool. I like that a lot. I can't help but notice this wheel tire brake setup. Those look like huge wheel woods, American racing. What are those, torque thrust? Yep, that's a good old classic torque thrust in the matching gray, just really tied in with this truck. A good classic wheel combo. Um, I think it just fits really well in this truck. These are 20 by nine and a halfs all around with Goodyear Eagle F1 tires. So really sticky tires, 255 in, uh, centimeters wide. Um, so plenty of meat on this truck. Same setup front and back? Yeah, same front and back. So you can actually rotate the tires on this truck, which is something new for That's us. Nice. We, yeah, we, we always do the staggered setup. Yeah, so this is cool. Um, but, but yeah, everything works real cohesively with the truck. Still a little bit of chrome, still a little bit of polished. Um, but all these modern upgrades like you were talking about, even down to a flush mounted glass, this has a Fessler flush mounted windshield and back window. And if you notice, there's no vent window. These trucks always have a vent window, which is kind of a cool classic touch. Yeah. But this kind of helps modernize it a little bit too. One piece yep. side glass. So. Yep. I really like it. I think it, it, it works really well on this truck and all the little touches. Are these the stock rear view mirrors? No, so- uh, They almost look upside down. Yeah, normally you have like a big bulky mirror here. These are tucked nice and tight. Um, it still is like a 60s GM classic mirror. Yeah. Uh, so it all ties in together. It looks like it's supposed to be there. Almost looks like a Chevelle or something like exactly, that. Exactly, yeah. Like a smaller from a coupe. Um, but really cool. I like how they did the- uh, Side pipes on the exhaust. Yeah. Well, not side pipes, I guess they just exited right out of the- uh... Yeah, another cool little touch, um, side exit exhaust, and, and it sounds really killer too. Yeah, and it's a cool look. It's a little bit of chrome, like all those touches of the gray and the chrome, I think it plays really well. Yep. So 
Coming around the back, more cool little touches. If you notice, normally there's a big Chevrolet stamped in this tailgate. I was just gonna say, yeah, it was brand elite. That's it, so it's smoothed out. Um, we have the upgraded LED taillights with like kind of a neat little sequential function um, that you can actually program too if you don't want that. Uh, and then it has LED reverse lights, uh, smoothed bumper, so you don't see any of the bumper bolt heads on this bumper. And it's, oh, that's right. And it's paint matched to match the two-tone uh, charcoal gray. So really clean from the back too. Yeah, I love the way they tied the color scheme together, and I didn't even notice that they didn't have the bolts on there. That's really cool. Yeah, and in this bed, a couple other little touches. Um, smooth steak pockets, so uh, you don't, you're you not going to put your wooden steaks in this anymore, unfortunately. But, well, no, but no tie-down spots. Again, yeah. not for uh, bales of hay. That's here. right. Um, our fuel filler door is no longer in the cab. Fuel tank's under the bed, so door is there. Um, it is uh, rhino-lined on the floor. We were actually thinking, should we do the inside of this with like a nice, clean charcoal gray rhino liner to kind of tie in the charcoal gray roof? Tell us what you think. I mean, it's uh, silver now. Looks real clean, but should we add another little touch to it? And you make wanted it... to do the, the tailgate too, right? Yeah, yeah, almost just make it so that if you are going to use this as a truck, you don't have to worry about anything. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I mean, if you're going to use it at all, even if it's just like, you know, going to the, going to the game, throw a couple cases of beer back here or exactly. something like that, um, you want it to be a little bit more rugged and then you can hose it off afterwards. Yep. So one of the common upgrades on these is moving the fuel tank from behind the bench seat back there. Uh, to underneath the bed right here, but we did a little bit more than that. Yeah, absolutely. This has an aluminum uh, tank that's all custom fabricated, um, and it houses a Phytech in-tank pump. Um, so everything in the fuel system is from Phytech all the way down to the in-tank pump. Uh, so that is a huge upgrade. That's, that's really what it needs to power this. Enough about the outside. Let's uh, get into the place where you're going to spend the most time in the interior. Here. Yeah, I love the interior of this truck. I do too. This interior really shines. It's uh, just like the rest of the truck. It's all dialed in. It's got a ton of custom touches, but it still keeps that C10 feel. I mean, anybody who's familiar with these trucks, you can identify this right away. It's not so wildly custom that you don't know what you're sitting in anymore, um, but it's all upgraded. So um, everything is, uh, all the hard metal parts are painted a satin black to really tie in with the leather. So this thing's got custom door panels um, that are wrapped in leather, um, you know, billet aluminum handles for the doors and the cranks. Uh, you'll see the dash has like a nice stitching in it. Um, all the center stack has been smoothed and upgraded to house the AC vents and the Restomod air controls. Also, you have like three screens in this thing. So you have all your vitals on the Phytech um, and then your screen for the, the ride tech because that's all adjustable air suspension. Um, and then down here, you have a really killer Kenwood touchscreen stereo with all the goodies, um, nav, Bluetooth, all the modern stuff you want. Uh, and then the gauges, even though they look original, these are Dakota Digital Aftermarket Gauges. That's one of our go-to companies to work with. Um, they just make a really high quality product. Um, in front of that, you have a tilt column with the key in the column, which is an upgrade. Normally these trucks had them in the dash. Uh, a billet specialties, leather wrapped and billet steering wheel. Um, and that leather ties into the seats. And these are really cool looking seats, uh, bucket seats, super comfortable. Uh, in between those, really cool center console, also wrapped in leather, all custom made. This interior was decked out top to bottom by Velocity Restorations, and they just knocked it out of the park with this thing. I love this interior. Yeah, it's really incredible. It's really well planned. And then like you said, it's still recognizable as a C10. I mean, that gauge cluster is just like, exactly. you look at that and you could see it anywhere and it's instantly like, hey, this is off of a C10. And they left all that, the Dakota digital gauges look stock, even though they are digital gauges. And then you look just a little bit to your right and you've got all the modern technology from those Restomod air controls and then all the other stuff, the ride tech, uh, Ride height adjuster is awesome. The stereo, I would just listen to the exhaust, but if you need the nav or the Bluetooth to take a call or whatever, that's really cool. I see they did the, are these uh, speaker enclosures custom? Yep, yep, so you got your round speakers in the kick panels here, um, and they're leather wrapped as well to tie everything in. Um, something silly that I didn't even mention, but is super key, is the cup holders. I mean, the, there's no cup holders in these trucks originally. No one was going to Starbucks or a, right. or a drive-through or anything yeah. like that. Um, but I mean, even just a place to put your phone, uh, it's something silly, but it just makes this truck just more livable day to day. More usable, yeah, like you said, um, you could totally daily this thing with the modern fuel injection and just how reliable it is and the ride height adjustment and then how comfortable it is. These are power adjustable buckets. Yeah. I mean, they're, they're, they look so nice uh, and they fit so well with this design scheme. It was just really well designed. Three point belts, that's a big safety item too. Um, a lot of these cars were just lap belts. So uh, this, the three point belt, it's gonna keep you in place. That's a, another modern touch. Just a lot of little things. Nothing was overlooked on this truck. 
Yeah, I can't find a single thing. I mean, obviously you've got, you know, the air conditioning, you're gonna be comfortable in this cab. Um, the controls just fit really well. I love the way they did the dash in the satin black and matched it to the black leather. It's, it's, yeah. it's yeah, nice, Yeah, even man. the billet rear view mirror. Just a little little touches everywhere, which make this truck cool. I'm too tall to see that. I had to like, <laughs> get down here. Oh, and the uh, roof in this thing. Yeah. I love how they painted that, the yeah. satin black to match. Absolutely, yeah. All steel roof, like a stock truck basically would have, but the satin black really makes it cohesive with the interior. Yeah, that's really cool. All right, so that's it, the build sheet for RM20. It's crazy this is our 20th giveaway vehicle, but I couldn't imagine anything better to be our 20th giveaway vehicle. This is an incredible truck. Someone's gonna be very lucky to win it, and I can't wait to meet our 20th winner uh, when we fly them here to San Diego to claim their prize along with $20,000 in cash. If you want that to be you, head over to restomods.com, claim your entries to win this beautiful truck in $20,000. We could be calling you in just a matter of a couple months and flying you to San Diego to pick up your truck, hang out with us, get a hold of 20 grand and we'll ship this thing to your door. So claim those entries at restomods.com and it could be you.